Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Blue, and we are back up here with another video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. This one's going to be another Charles Kirk video. Interesting stuff that Charles be doing. Let's see what he's talking about now. Uh, this one is going to be titled Breaking Down the Dangers of an Open Border. Now, being that I'm Haitian American, my family, my parents, and the majority of my family, that's over. I guess right now, I don't think I know anybody over the age of 35 that was born in America in my family and of Haitians. If I do, then there's very few people that's 35 right now and older that was actually born in America. I don't think I know any. And if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And these are people that I know, not, not just anybody. I know there's probably plenty of Haitians that was born in America over 35, but I'm talking about my family and whatnot. So when it comes to immigration, to me, to me, when it comes to immigration, I personally am okay with the idea of you coming in legally. America is the home of the brave and the free and all that stuff. I know stuff that I didn't preach about when I was in college, but now as I'm getting older, I'm like, you know what? This place honestly isn't that bad compared to most other countries. There's still a lot of stuff that I'm just like, yo, we need to do a lot better, but I'm, I'm a little more um, taking my stance back a little bit as regards to what I was when I was younger. Um, and with this big thing that's happening nowadays when it comes to immigration, especially these open, I don't even want to say immigration. This is kind of just open borders. This isn't even really immigration. It's a whole different level of immigration. I'm not okay with open borders. I'm not okay with people just coming into the country undocumented, don't got nothing. I think if you're going to come in illegally, then your first plan of action should be to find a way to become legal, whatever the case may be. But I mean, I don't know, because there's a lot of Haitians that are in America right now that are still technically illegal or not full American citizens. They're just here on a visa still after years. Um, but even then, that's illegal means. These A lot of these people, they here illegally don't even have a visa or an expired even if you had an expired visa i mean you went through some process to be legal but these people by the millions are just coming in illegally and i just don't know how i feel about that um we already had one vi um we've already had now that i think about it we already I actually already did a video with Charles Kirk speaking with a young man from Mexico. He said a comment that most people would consider racist. I see what he's talking about, but again, it was something that he probably didn't even need to say. Hmm. Let's see what he says in this video, because now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like there's some wishy-washiness going on here. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what's going on. With the whole immigrant thing, you said that, you know, we come at one of, at some point you said, oh, you come and you work hard. How about we work hard and it's a guarantee you used guarantee that was the exact for you that we can get somewhere if but you do four things but go ahead I should but addition. the whole like some of the immigrants yeah they may be illegal but they do work really hard to come here and provide a life for their kids and then they get snatched away and their nine-year-old little girl is just sitting there crying and bawling her eyes out why her mom can't be with her after her mom just tried really hard to work really hard for her life Okay, so a couple things. If you break the law to get into America, you're putting your kid's life in jeopardy too. We, we have immigration laws. We have not enforced them. Justice is blind. Justice can be something that must be equally interpreted. When that beautiful statue of Lady Justice, she has a cloth over her, over her eyes because justice is supposed to be blind. I'll, you know what happens for a legal immigrant? Let's say a legal immigrant from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. If they want to come to America, they have to prove to the embassy in America that they have not committed a crime for two years. If they get sometimes a speeding ticket equivalent in Indonesia or in Korea, their visa will be yanked almost instantaneously. So we have a double standard immigration system. One, where the rest of the world has to operate with a clean bill of health criminally, that they can't break any laws in their home country and they can't break any laws here because they might be subject to deportation or not coming into the country. Then we have a whole different set of laws if you jump across the border. That's not fair and it's not sustainable because what now ends up happening is you have anywhere between 15 to 21 million people, could be even more than that, where they're living in the shadows. And that's not a good thing. I don't want that to happen. I mean, if, if, if I had my way, I would say, yeah, of course, I, I would love to have as many people in this country as possible. But it also severely disenfranchises the 180 other countries across the world that equally want to be here just as much that are not within economic prox proximity there. Um, so I understand the question. 
The other thing is this. There is not, there is isolated incidents of the United States government through ICE going after child sex traffickers, MS-13 members. But there is not mass deportations happening in this country right now. It's just not happening. Should we go after people that are smuggling guns and smuggling drugs and smuggling children? Oh my goodness, yes. Final thing is this. The poorest southern border allows immoral behavior to continue. Evil behavior. Children that get smuggled. Now that he mentions that since um, Biden, or not Biden, since when Trump was elected, he, let me go ahead and blow myself back up. Since Trump, when Trump was elected, he ran the whole ICE operation to get rid of a bunch of, of immigrants that weren't, I guess, complete citizens here. So a lot of people that were here on visas or maybe expired visas, like I was mentioning before. So based off of situations, if Trump does become the new president, is he going, what is he going to do with all these uh, illegal foreigners? That's my question, because he apparently picked up a lot uh, when he was in office. So I wonder what his plan is there. He didn't mention anything about that. So, I mean, let's continue. Smuggled across the southern border. Opioids, heroin, guns. MS-13 runs the entire southern border. This is why they fight so hard against the construction of a southern border wall. 95% of Border Patrol agents, half of which are Hispanic, by the way. The Border Patrol agents always get such a bad rap, but half of them are Hispanic. 95% of Border Patrol agents say a wall would help them better do their job to confiscate drugs and intercept children that might be in the midst of child sex trafficking. So anyway, I appreciate the question. My, my stance on immigration is this. Legal immigrants, huge positive, huge surplus for this country. You even saw me defend having more immigrants come to yeah. America. Okay, see? Mm. Mm, this is exactly this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the stuff that I don't like. I don't like literally. It's one thing if he had said something about. All right, all right. Let me finish and then I'll and I'll make my point. Border jumping and line cutting. It's not who we are. It breaks the law and it should not be tolerated. So, okay. thank like you for your. Yeah. Did you have a follow up really quick or make it quick because I want to get to as many questions as possible. So, I like you. I like you. Uh, your answers, state answer. I just want to know. Okay, so what would you do that? more accessible for the ones that are trying to get here legally and it's not happening. So I think we should, we should have an unlimited amount of genius visas and unlimited amount of merit visas. So if you have, if you are able to prove that you have a very specific skill and there are anywhere between 30 to 40 million people like this worldwide, I think you should be able to give them a chance to come into America. We have huge capacity in this country massive amount of natural resources and usual land. And guess what? I get people in the conservative movement that push back against this. Charlie, we're full. I, 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 okay. I know this sounds silly. Fly from Chicago to Reno and tell me that we're full, okay? For three and a half hours. You know, there's massive amounts of land and huge development that we can have. I believe that the only limiting factor we have is saying that ideas will somehow run out. There is, there are studies to show that a steady flow of immigrants keep a country on its toes. It keeps a country working hard and taking risks and it keeps other people competing against them. I think that's a really healthy thing. Someone who believes so firmly in markets, I want people that always have new business ideas. I want people that are willing to disrupt the status quo. I want the next hungry entrepreneur from Cuba or Venezuela or for South Africa. That's, how we've, that's why we have 85 out of the most valuable, 85 out of 100 of the most valuable companies in the world. And so anyway, I, I would say to expand it, it should be much quicker to legally immigrate in this country and much easier. We've made it so hard. And the president of the United States says it correctly. We're going to have a very big wall with a big door. And I think we're going to get back to the door so we understand that legal immigration is a healthy backbone to this country that we must celebrate. So thank you for your question. I appreciate it. I really had, yo. We got to get to the next one, Seth. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Um, so this, just to start, I'm an independent, so I'm not like a liberal or anything, but, uh, <laughs> but, um, so my grandparents, they came here in the 1940s and, um, they came here with like $40 in their pocket. Where did they come from? They came from Haiti. Awesome. Um, IT, yes sir, IT, we out here, we out here in the forties. Hold on. Let me think about this. Forties no, in the forties. Okay. So this is... <laughs> 
This is a prime example of what I was saying earlier. That's crazy. I got an example now. This is a prime example of what I'm saying, what I was saying earlier, because I don't know, like everybody in my family, everybody in my inner circle that came from Haiti, they're all like, like I said, if you're older than 35, you're more than likely an immigrant that came over here, whether you came here young or old or whatever the case may be. It, yeah, you're more than likely not born in America, but to have your grandparents come down here in the 40s that must mean that your parents are the first generation haitians which is very interesting but i mean she's that's what's up selves up through real estate and they were able to send all my aunts uncles and my mother to college and now they're all in graduated and they're in their professions and my mom became a doctor so i'm the pretty 40s? proud of like that's the american dream yeah, congratulations that's, that's what we're talking about that's crazy that's what's up and um, also, like a lot of the legal immigrants account for um, like farming, farming work and factory work in America. And um, it's because a lot of people in America are unwilling to do that sort of labor. And um, if we curb yeah. illegal immigration, how would you propose to solve um, the possible amount of like under? Sure. Right. So performing jobs. seasonal work visas. It's that simple. Give seasonal work visas for people that are willing to do difficult agricultural work. So all the seasonal work visas, you get a temporary social security number, you pay tax, you pay payroll tax, you pay income tax. We know who you are. If you commit a crime, we know exactly that and we deport you immediately. Now we have no idea. We have no idea. It's not, it's, it, no one can possibly argue that that's a, that's a sustainable system for the country. So that's a very simple way. But in order for there to be seasonal visas, you have to have a restriction on people cutting in line. The restriction would be a wall. And that that's the, that's a key element to re redefine, not redefining, but restructuring our immigration system, which is so horribly and terribly broken. And I, I talk about a wall and people say, Charlie, why are you against immigration? I say, I literally have talked so much about the value of immigration. I'm against people that come here in defiance to our laws and come into the shadows and intentionally break United States immigration law. I think it's a disservice to people like your grandparents that came here in the 1940s from Haiti. That's what's best and most beautiful about this country is people that came here legally. And so when they came here legally, they were, they were registered in the system. They were able to pay taxes, buy a house, start a bank account. And now a couple generations later, would you say your life is better than their life was? Probably, right? And so you're the story of America. So when I talk about the guarantee of America, almost very few people in America, unless your grandfather was Andrew Carnegie or John D. Rockefeller, very oh. few people have it worse today than your grandparents did. Yo, what's going on, everybody? If you reach this far into the video, that means that you are a real one, and I appreciate it. I appreciate you. We reached 500 subs, which is great. Thank you guys so much. And that being said, we're halfway to our goal, which is a thousand subs. Let's clap it up. So as a token of my appreciation, we're gonna be doing a small giveaway once we hit the goal. But do know that as this channel continues to grow, the giveaway amount is also going to grow. But more details is gonna come later on. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and like, subscribe so you can be part of this great community of living one get it. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. Very few people, unless it was some Titan or something horrible happened, it's 99% of Americans have it better than your grandparents did. We have progressively been getting better and better. And there's, a re there's many reasons for that, but I appreciate the question. Seasonal visas would be the way that would fix it. So thank you. Okay, so here, so here's the problem that I have. So if, uh, for those that actually watch my videos, let's, let's, this is the problem that I have well, that I've always had with Republicans. We'll say one thing, one second, not we, but they'll say one thing, one second. That sounds cool, makes sense. And then they'll say something the next second on the same topic that's almost completely opposite depending on who you're around and it's like where where's the where's the consistency because the video that i watched that we watched literally whenever i posted it which is before this video he was speaking a completely different tune when it comes to immigration so people like me this is one of the reasons why i do not trust Republicans because they have this tendency to to be wishy-washy very like within seconds so let me go ahead I'm gonna play this video again only the part the, where he talks about how good immigration is okay here we go right here listen to what he says about immigrants foreigners let's use the word foreigners saying before he's a foreigners 
because that's a term that we used before to detail somebody that's that isn't born here i appreciate the question my my stance on immigration is this legal immigrants huge positive huge surplus for this country you even saw me defend having more immigrants come to yeah. america border jumping and line cutting it's not who we are okay that's what he says let's go ahead and jump to the other video that i was watching before so here's a video that i watched last time where homie is speaking a completely different to him when i said that i wasn't a hundred percent before in his other videos i was you know with what he was saying but this time around with this video specifically i had said that i hear what he's saying but i don't 100 percent agree with him which is a first but now seeing the video that we just watched let me see this video came out three weeks ago so this video came out three weeks ago the other video came out two days ago so within a three week period he switched up on his stance and posted it so let's see what he's talking about here or what he says here no yeah that's fine i mean but it, you cannot bring people into the country that don't share your values and still be a country you could be something else you just won't be a country how do you think this country was a lot of people this country was made by people coming from different places good point freedom. so were we made by settlers or immigrants made by what's the difference think about it ever asked that question before it's okay i'm not trying to put you on the spot but there's a huge difference a settler does what start something new an immigrant comes to something already built which one started america um settlers did so, no, so we're not a nation of immigrants we're a nation of settlers and yes, we have used immigration as a tool to enrich the American experiment because a lot of people assimilated. The Irish did, the Polish did, the Italians did, the Germans did. We are now losing assimilation as a primary prerequisite. Okay, so do more people speak Spanish or English in California at home under the age of 30? I'm probably, I don't know. Spanish. Spanish. And that doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means that you're losing what a country is which is borders language culture amongst other things that's not it and that's fine if if the if the argument is we want to become something other than a country then and this and that's the interesting part um i need i need clarification because i'm a stickler when it comes to words i'm a stickler when it comes to what people are saying and what they're trying to say so my understanding is what he's saying is that immigration is now becoming a problem where now we have our own we're now we're not assimilating together but instead we're just becoming all these different territories of okay this area is the hispanic area this area is the the asian area this area is where the white people live. like in georgia and gwinnett county you have you can tell where you're at based off of the specific area that you're driving in but then in the next video he talks about how immigration is good how we need immigration so it's like what's your stance charles because now and now now i still believe everything that you said previously and everything that you're saying now but now it's like i'm not a big fan of people that are very wishy-washy especially when it comes to standpoints that involve humanity you know what i mean so it's kind of it's a weird it's definitely a weird spot for not really a weird spot for me but it kind of makes me look at charles different um not too much different but it's like all right bro you literally said something completely different within a three week span so what what's it gonna be i need i need consistency i need a lot of consistency very weird very weird i'm not i'm not a hundred percent if anything i know for a fact that i don't that i'm questioning his stance on immigration just because of the wishy-washiness here if he could explain exactly what he was trying to refer in this video versus the video where he was actually at the um in the college stadium talking to the young girl then great but as if right now to me to me i could be wrong but to me it seems like you're being wishy-washy you're talking about how immigration is bad how it's causing the nation to not really be a nation because now we're not assimilating into the ideology of america which i i get and i understand but then a few weeks later you're talking about how immigration is good we need immigration of course we need illegal immigration not illegal immigration but that doesn't disqualify the fact that you were just talking about how immigration period is not a good thing because it's kind of segregating america as a whole and it's not really a country 
So it's like, so is immigration good or is not good? I don't know. Interesting stuff. Y'all let me know in the comments. I was not expecting this to happen, but very interesting stuff. And this is why you actually got to really question, you know, I don't, I don't, if, if you start switching up, I'm going a, I'm to a say something about it because everything needs to make sense. Once we stop making sense, that's when my mind has issues and I got to keep asking the same thing over and over again. So right now, his stance on immigration is not making sense to me. It's not making sense to me. So I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let's go ahead and get this thing up to 1,000. I'm going to catch y'all later. Take it easy, peace.